Hi, Calvary kids. I hope you guys are all staying in and staying safe. This is a perfect time to be playing games with your family and enjoying that time. You know, one of my favorite games to play is called the Hungry Hungry Hippo. You know, the one with the hippos and they're trying to eat all the little balls because they're starving and they want more and more and more. Right? Have you ever felt like that? Like you're starving? Maybe you might even have said, I'm going to starve to death or I must eat right now. <laughs> well, really, if you don't eat right now, you're not going to die. But sometimes we feel that way. I must eat right now. How amazing would it be if you felt that way about God? I must have him right now. You know, God wants us to know that he wants us to be hungry for him and a relationship with him. That leads me into my Bible story for today. You can find it in John chapter 6. So Jesus was out teaching, and um, there was 5,000 people there listening to him. And they were just so interested in what he had to say that they were didn't, nobody wanted to leave, nobody wanted to go anywhere, and they would just want it more and more and more of Jesus. The, um, the disciples came to Jesus and they said, the people are hungry. They, they've been here all day. They haven't eaten. They're hungry. We don't have anything to feed them. All we found was one boy, and he had a basket with five loaves of bread and two fish. That's not enough. Well, Jesus tells the disciples, bring me the boy. And they bring the boy to Jesus. And Jesus picks up that basket with the five loaves of bread and two fish, and he puts it up to heaven, and he says, a blessing over it. Then he turns that basket back to the disciples and says, go feed the people. The disciples didn't even ask any questions. They went straight and did exactly what Jesus told them. And they began feeding the people. All 5,000 people ate until they were full. And there was 12 baskets left over. What an amazing miracle. You know those people the next day they came back hoping that Jesus would feed them some more food. But this time instead, Jesus told them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will hunger no more. The people who looked around, they were confused. They didn't understand. What Jesus wanted them to know was that he could fill their spiritual hunger, not their physical hunger. He wanted them to know that he wanted them to have a relationship to him, to draw close to him, to hunger for him. Just like us, Jesus wants us to know that whenever we're feeling empty inside, sad, lonely, whatever it is, that he can feel that by us being hungry for him. You might ask me, how can I be hungry for Jesus? How can I be hungry for God? Let me tell you, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is start reading your Bible, start praying more, Start worshiping more. And the more you do it, the more you'll want to do it. The more you'll crave it. The more you'll want Jesus in your life. Just know that when you need Jesus, he will come to you and fill your empty spots with his presence. He will not let you be hungry for anything else. And that leads me to my, my power verse for today. I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry again. John 6, 35. I'm going to say that one more time. Will you say it with me? I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry again. John 6, 35. Just know that Jesus is always with you. Just know that he will fill your emptiness with his love. Just know that you can always call on him. I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> this is the best day of my life! I love you, Mr. Unicorn! <laughs> the feeling's mutual! <laughs> can I honk your horn? No time for that! It's time to get up, Steven! <laughs>
Wh what's up, boy? <laughs> what did you say? I said it's time to get Steven. Unicorn, why does your voice sound so funny? Steven, get up. Uh, uh, I don't want to get up. Steven, get up. Uh, uh, no unicorn, no unicorn. Steven, you. get up. <laughs> oh, Mom, why did you wake me up? I was having the most awesome dream. Was it about unicorns again? Uh, no, <laughs> not at all. Well, whatever it was, it's over now. Get up and get dressed. It's time to go to church. Oh, man, are you serious? Of course. It's Sunday, Stephen. We went to church last Sunday. Oh, why does church have to be so early? I don't even want to go. Can I just wear my PJs? Very funny. You dressed now. <sighs> okay. <laughs> This is so dumb. I hate having to go to church all the time. There's no point. We just read the Bible and learn about God. It's -a me, a game boy. <laughs> oh, that's nasty. Who in the world are you? I'm Game Boy, of course. Well, of course you are. How did you get in my house? Well, never mind that. I got something to teach you today. Teach me something? Great. Well, listen up here, Mr. Sassy Britches. You got a really negative attitude today. Now, let's get you dressed, because you need to go with me. <gasps> wow, that was so cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's get going, because I got to teach you about hungry, hungry hippos. Hungry, hungry hippos? You've heard of the game Hungry Hungry Hippos, right? Ah! The board game? Yeah, sure. Then you know the point of the game is for the hippo to eat as many marbles as it possibly can, right? Yeah, but what's that got to do with anything? I'll show you, sassy britches. Oh, no. Ah, uh, yeah. Recognize this place? Yeah, it's my church. It's exactly where I didn't want to go today. I know. Hey, that kind of stings. Well, I need you to pay attention. The game Hungry Hungry Hippos should remind you of the way that you should be when it comes to the things of God. You should be hungry for more and more of Him. He has so many amazing things planned for you. Yeah, but sometimes church is boring. Oh. Well, maybe it is boring to you because you just don't see just how amazing it is to get more and more of the things of God. The Bible, it's incredible and full of great truth that will change your life. Spending time in prayer and worship can change our lives in a big way. The things of God should be something that we hunger for. You mean just like I hunger for food, I should hunger for God? Yeah, that's exactly right. The same way you hunger for food, man, I gotta get me some food, is the same way you should feel about God. You can't live your life without more of God. Wow, I never really thought about it that way. You know, I guess I always kind of saw church and all that God stuff as kind of boring, but it's a lot more than that. It's life-changing stuff. That's right. It's only when you get plugged in to more and more of God that you can truly power up. Hold on to your socks, boy. You have got to stop doing that. Wait, why are we back at my house? I thought I was going to church. You are, but I want you to go in there and tell your mom how hungry you are to get closer to God. Okay, hey mom, wait up. I wanna go to church. I'm sure glad he learned his lesson, but it's time for you to get into your lesson. You're gonna learn all about how hungry, hungry hippos can teach you about being more hungry for God. This is Game Boy, signing off. What's up? 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 Ah, yeah, it's me, the SKI to the double T L E S, Skittles in the hizzy, and I'm ready to tell you what's up. Today, we are talking about being hungry for God. Hey, anybody got some pistachio pudding? Not hungry for food, silly. Hungry for God. So anytime today somebody asks you, what's up? You tell them. 
I am hungry for more of God. Yeah, baby, we got to get more of God every single day. We got to pray, read our Bible, and spend some time with God every single day. That's what it's all about. The more you get of Him, the more you want. So anytime, I mean anytime, somebody asks you, what's up? You tell them, I am hungry for more of God. And that's what's up. I got a rainbow of flavor, and I'm living for my savior. Skittles out, baby, yeah. Hey there, everybody. Tara Bright here, and I'm ready to get you guys powered up with today's power verse. Today's power verse says, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry again. John 6, 35. Don't you just love that power verse? You know what's even better? When the boys stand up and say it with me. You heard me, guys. Stand up on your feet and say the power verse with me. Tear a bite on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry again. John 6, 35. Great job, boys. Have a seat. Okay, ladies, now it's your turn. Let's show them how it's done. Stand up and say the power verse with me on the count of three. Here we go. One, two, three. I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry again. John 6, 35. Have you guys ever been really hungry? I don't mean hungry like feed me tacos. I'm talking about the kind of hunger that's deep down in your heart. There's only one thing that'll fill that up, and that's God. He'll fill you up in your heart and your life, and you'll never be the same again. Now that you know that, let's get powered up and say the power verse together. Everybody stand up and say the power verse with me on the count of three. Here we go, everybody. Ready? One, two, three. I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry again. John 6, 35. That was awesome. You guys can have a seat. Well, it's time for me to go. This is Terabyte signing off. I'll see you next time with another power verse.